On the afternoon of March 4th, newly elected President Vo Văn Thường hosted a reception for Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia, Samdek Kurahom Sa Khang, who is paying a working visit to Vietnam. Welcoming the Cambodian official, the first international guest he has received as president, Thuong affirmed that the visit would contribute to further deepening the good relationship between the two countries. On the occasion of the traditional Chonchanam to make New Year, the Vietnamese leader sent his best wishes to the royal family, senior leaders, and the entire Cambodian people, wishing Cambodia to continue to get more achievements. Through the Cambodian guest, President Thuong invited King Norodom Sihamoni to visit Vietnam soon. Congratulating Thuong on being elected as the head of state of Vietnam, Deputy Prime Minister Samdei Kurahom Sa Khang expressed his honor to be the Vietnamese leader's first international guest. He suggested that Vietnam coordinate in organizing the upcoming conference of bordering provinces and inaugurating two more border gates between the two countries. Agreeing with the guest proposal, President Thuong stressed that Vietnam is willing to share experiences and cooperate with Cambodia to carry out important events in 2023. Earlier on the same day, Prime Minister Ching received Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia, Samdek Kola Hong Sa Khang, who is paying a working visit to Vietnam. The Prime Minister highly appreciated the successful talks between the Cambodian Interior Ministry delegation led by Samdei Krolahom Sa Khang and the Vietnamese Public Security Ministry delegation led by Minister To Lâm. Ching proposed that the two ministries continue to strengthen their cooperation in fighting crimes of all kinds, especially transnational crimes. He also asked the Cambodian side to continue supporting the Vietnamese community in Cambodia. During their meeting, the two sides agreed to support each other on multilateral forums, support ASEAN's principal stance on the EC, and uphold the international law, especially the United Nations Convention Law of the Sea 1982.